Welcome to Welsh Warrior Fitness, guys. My name is Rob Terry, pro bodybuilder, pro wrestler, and elite pro trainer. I'm here today with my good friend and training partner, Julian, and we're gonna show you phase two of our arm workout right here in Gold's Gym, St. Petersburg, Northeast. Let's do this. Okay, guys, this is the first exercise of bicep. I'm a big advocate of using a machine first just to warm up the arms properly. So we're gonna start with this warm up right here. Julian, let's go, 10 to 12 reps. Look at the extension that he's using, the full range of motion, and the contraction of the top. This is perfect form going on right here. Okay guys, what we're gonna do on this one, we did the warm up. So with this next set, this is gonna be the working set, and we're gonna change this a little bit. We're gonna try something and add something a little different, okay? So we're gonna do just three reps. But these three reps are gonna be so controlled. They're gonna be super, super slow. One rep could take anywhere from 10, 15, 20, 30, even 30 seconds. We're gonna do those three reps, and then once we've done those, we're gonna do a burnout. And Julian's gonna try and perform as many reps as he can with that weight. The weight that he uses is not as much as you would usually use on a main set. So we're gonna try these. I want you guys to see these. Check this out, let's go. So these are the first three reps. Really slow and it's really controlled. Here we go. Really slow. There we go. All the way to the top. Look at the speed there, guys. It's so fractional. Here we go. Back down normal speed. One more up slow. There you go. Strong here. Look at the concentration that's going on there, guys. Back down last one. Here we go. There you go. And back down, here we go, let's rack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, drive it up. Set, excellent. Check that out guys, that's awesome. That's a really cool idea for you to implement in your training program. Just try three reps really slow, really controlled, and then hit as many as you can. Still using the form, but you can lighten the weight. It's a great way to shock the muscle ready for the workout. Try it. Okay guys, this is one of my favorite exercises for biceps. It's totally switching up and changing up the exercises. We're gonna use this wide grip. The main thing you need to do here is you need to be slightly behind uh, the, the stack of weights. You don't wanna be directly in front of it, and you don't wanna be too far behind it. You wanna be exactly to the side there, okay? And the main thing is when you come up, you need to come up to the side and squeeze and hold, and then come back down, okay? We're gonna do double control. Julian's gonna show us how. Let's go. This is one of those exercises that's gonna hit the bicep on a totally different angle. Excellent, strong, Julian. Look how much intensity is going on in this just warm up. It's just a warm up, that's all it is. Haven't even got to the main yeah. sets. Here we go. This is how you do it, guys. All the way through. Excellent. Good set. Okay, guys, this is gonna be the first working set here. Not much is really gonna change. The intensity is gonna be exactly the same while he's gonna be demonstrating the form as well, just like this guy always does. Let's bring it up. Come on, let's go. Drive it up. One. Let's go. Two. There you go. Three. Let's make these arms grow, Julian. Strong. Let's get this definition going. Come on, let's go. Here we go. Perfect form. Look how fixed this upper arm is, guys. This upper arm is fixed. Awesome. Excellent. Great set. Guys, that's a great exercise for you to try out, okay? I strongly recommend it. Switch things up. But this phase is all about changing up the routines and adding certain things to it to make it a little different, okay? Try it. Okay guys, for the third exercise of phase two bicep training, we're gonna do hammer curls. These are gonna add the mass 
and the definition to your arm and it's a great exercise to use. The main thing you need to focus on here is that the arm doesn't swing forward and the arm doesn't swing back in the motion. The arm needs to be in a fixed position. The only thing that moves is the arm coming, the lower arm coming up and then going back down. Okay, Julian, you ready to do this? Let's go. Right, come on. Excellent. You see, even though this is a warm-up set, look at the control that Julian is displaying right now. Look at that. He's in total control of the movement. Excellent, strong. Warm-ups are the most important part of the workout. We're priming the muscle right now, ready for the main sets. Excellent, one more, one more. Excellent, really good, good set. Okay, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna rest for 30 to 40 seconds. I'm gonna go back in for another set. Okay, now we're gonna go into the main set. We're gonna do three sets of these. Now, Julian knows exactly the weight that he's gonna pick for this. You need to pick a weight that's challenging for 12 reps, but you need to control it at all times, just like the warm up. okay? Julian, you ready for this? Let's do it, come on, let's go. One, drive, come on. Excellent, work it up, come on. Look at the control he's demonstrating under the main set. The weight has increased, the form stays. Let's go, come on, own it. Let's go. Strong. Keep on going, come on, here we go. Here we go, you got it, come on, keep on going. Keep on going, Julian. Excellent, well done. Okay, that's it for hammer curls. Like you saw, the intensity was there the entire time, from the warm up to the working sets. Now we're gonna move on to the next exercise. We've completed three exercises for biceps so far. This is gonna be the last one, and it's gonna be a finisher, almost like a burnout. So what we're gonna do is Julian's gonna pick up the easy bar. The weight here, he could do obviously a lot more, but this exercise needs to be extremely controlled from start to finish. He's gonna alter his grip halfway through. Let's do this, Julian. Let's show these people what it's about. Here we go, drive. The control is still there, that's perfect form. Keep on going, strong. That upper arm is not moving at all. Here we go, strong. Okay, what Julian's gonna do now, he's gonna switch his grip from an underhand to an over, overhand grip, okay? Here we go. This is gonna give overall bicep development. He's leaning over slightly so there's more stress on the bicep. Good, strong, keep on going. You're rolling this, man. Let's go. Strong, Julian. Let's go. Come on. Drive it up. Here we go. Come on, set. Main set. Let's go. Come on. Main set. Strongest along this, Julian. Let's go. Come on. Work these arms. Look at that form. Form is perfect. Come on. Keep it going. Excellent. Okay, flip that. Let's go. Come on. Drive it up. Keep on going. Come on, Julian. This is the best set. Come on. Last set. Drive it. Come on. Everything you got, perfect. Dude, that was an awesome set. That's biceps all wrapped up. Now we're gonna move on to triceps. Let's do this. Okay guys, the next exercise is a tricep extension. What we're gonna do, just like we did with the biceps earlier on, we're gonna use an overhand for 12 reps and then we're gonna switch it to an underhand. Julian's gonna show us this right now. Here we go, Julian, this is a warm-up set. So give it all you got, let's go. There we go, perfect. Just like on all the bicep exercises, as you can see, just straight down, the upper arm, no, no movement. Everything's with the lower arm only. All the focus now is right on the triceps. Perfect, Julian. Strong. There we go. Okay, now he's gonna switch hands, palms up. By doing this, you're gonna hit a different part of the tricep. But just by changing the hand motion from there to there, you're gonna hit different parts of the tricep. This is really important to get overall arm development. Strong. Excellent set, Julian. Good set, excellent. Okay guys, now we're gonna go into the first set of this. The only thing that changes is the weight. And once again, you just gotta fit the weight that actually you can do the full amount of reps with form and everything else. So let's do this. 
Hit this hard. Here we go, Julian Strong. There we go. Drive it. Come on. There we go. Yep. Right, switch it up. Change that grip from palms down to palms up. Same thing goes on here. Look at that form, it just doesn't change at all. This is strength endurance, guys. I mean, a lot of reps. This is 24 reps. Here we go. There we go. Excellent, Julian. Strong, very, very strong. There we go. Finish it off. Set. Okay, guys, that was the first exercise. Let's move to number two. For the second exercise of triceps, we're gonna hit an overhead cable tricep extension. Julian's gonna demonstrate that now. First, this is gonna be a warm up, okay, guys? But the form, just like anything else, has gotta be there. Let's do this, Julian, strong. There you go. As always, perfect form. Keep it going, excellent, Julian. If you notice that, guys, when Julian's coming to the top part of the motion, He's splitting the rope out. If you're not doing that, you're not doing this exercise properly. That's what you need to be doing. Strong. Awesome, Julian. Keep it going. Absolutely owning it. Strong. Good set. Okay, we're just gonna start the main set. Now, the most important thing you gotta realize on this, okay, this is a difficult exercise. So choosing your weight is essential here. You need to choose a weight that you can do the full amount of reps and the full range of motion, okay? So if you go in too heavy, you're gonna sacrifice the full range of motion, so you don't wanna be doing that, okay? So Julian, let's do this. Excellent. Strong. There you go. This is exactly why I train with this guy. Look at his form. That's perfect form, bro. Perfect. Dude, you're owning this. Come on. Last one. Last one. Drive it up. Set. Dude, that was awesome. Okay, guys, what we did there was four sets of 12 to 15 reps, okay? The next exercise we're going to use the tricep is going to be a chest press. Okay, now we're going to use this machine here with this attachment. If you don't have anything like this and you can't use that, you can just use a regular bench press, okay? So Julian, let's get this going on, man. Okay, here you go. This movement, guys, is going to involve a lot of power and it's going to give your triceps a lot of density, okay? And as you can see, Julian is using perfect form right now. At the top of the movement, he's actually locking out, tensing his tricep on every single rep. This is going to give him the detail that he needs for those big sculpted arms. Keep on going like that. Own in every single one of these, Julian. This is your exercise. Come on. Drive it up. Good set. Nice. Strong, Julian. Drive it up. Excellent, really good. Let's go, Julian, come on. Excellent, come on. Here we go, show me, come on. Excellent. Good set. Okay, great exercise. Okay, what we're going to do now is move on to the next tricep exercise. Let's do this. This is the third exercise of triceps. It's a variation of the skull crushers. We're going to be lying down with these. We've just done two exercises which have been cables. This is the first one for triceps, it's a, a free weight motion. Free weights are essential to put in this phase of training. They need to be in there. They're the ones that are gonna build the mass and sculpt the arms, okay? So we're gonna start with this warm up, Julian. Let's do this. <clears throat> this is a warm up set here. We could, Julian could easily go a lot heavier than this. 
but we're choosing to get the form and the concentration on every single rep because that's what's going to get you the results faster. Strong. Excellent. Look at that upper arm. That's locked. That's not moving. That's what we need. Stripped you in really good. Here we go. This is too easy for you. Here we go. Strong here. Good set. Awesome. Okay, now we're going to go into the first set. This is going to be slightly different. Julian's going to actually tap the weight every set. Now, he's not slamming it down, but he's going to be tapping it each set he does, okay? We're going to get intensity in this, and we're going to own it. Let's do this, man. Let's go. Come on. Strong. Okay. He's not slamming the weight down at all. He's just placing it down and then back up. Just tapping the floor. That's perfect. All the stress is on the triceps there. Good, keep on going, it's strong. Come on, own it, let's go. Come on, let's go, own it. Strong, Julian. Drive, drive. Excellent. Last one, last one. Excellent, that was a great set, bro. Dude, you did awesome, okay, go over there, go to the dips. Okay, what's gonna happen now, straight from that set, Julian's gonna go over there and do body weight dips for the maximum amount of reps. Let's do this. Okay guys, this is the last exercise for triceps. What we're gonna do here is some body weight dips. We're gonna go into this hard, this is for four sets, for as many reps as you can until you fail. Let's do this, let's go, here we are. Right, you're in strong. Here we go. And we just come straight off now, the other exercise for the triceps are fatigued here. Keep on going. Keep on going. Let's go, Julian. Strong. Drive it up. Come on, let's go. Every single rep you got. Every last one. Let's go. You got this, Julian. Come on. Let's go. And that is a phase two arm workout. I dare you guys to try it. That's enough for me. Whew.